This video may contain voice assistant activation phrases. Hi, Mark here from newhometricks.com and today I want to talk a little bit about the online integration service If This Then That. Now this is basically an online platform that allows you to connect online services and smart home technologies that you might have with other online services and other smart technologies that you might have. So for example, um, if you want to set a timer on your Amazon Echo, um, and you'd like the lights to flash when the timer runs out, then you could create what, if this, then that, call an applet to do exactly that. Um, so there's various different online services that plug into if this, then that, um, that allow you to create these online applets, and they're very easy to set up. If I give you a quick overview by going into the um, My Applets section here on the website. These are some of the ones that I've set up so far. Um, so for example, we've got a, an applet here that says, if the doorbell rings, turn on the kitchen lights. So what this is effectively doing is it's integrating together Ring, our Ring Video Doorbell Pro, with Philips Hue, uh, our Philips Hue Smart Lighting. Now, normally there would be no direct integration between those two services. There's no way um, to get Ring and Philips Hue talking together using either of those systems apps. There's no native integration there, but using If This Then That, I can enable a degree of integration between those two services. So I can say, if the door, if somebody rings the doorbell, turn on the kitchen lights. And the reason that I've created that particular applet is to give the impression that somebody is home. Somebody walks up um, to, my, to my house, to the front of my home, the room that is at the front of the house that is most visible um, from where somebody would be stood if they're ringing the doorbell is the kitchen. So if they see the lights come on, that's going to add to the appearance that somebody's home. So if I'm not in and somebody rings the doorbell, I want to have, have that added level of security um, by making it look as if someone's in, then that kind of an applet would do that. I've created one or two additional um, applets here as well. So we've got, for example, this one down in the bottom left. Uh, if your timer goes off, then blink living room. That's an Alexa integration. So if I ask Alexa to set a timer, um, then at the expiration of that timer, my lights in the living room, Philips Hue lights, will flash. So you've got an extra visual cue there when the timer goes off. Now, these are just things that I've been playing around with so far. Um, there's lots and lots of different ways that you can get online services integrated together using If This Then That. Without a service like this, you'd probably have to have some sort of additional home controller or home hub to do some of the things that you might want to do. And uh, that would, of course, require some additional setup. Now, we may explore getting a, a home controller hub at some point just to see what else that adds for us. But um, using If This Then That is it's a free online service that you can just start using straight away. There are, of course, apps for... Uh, your smartphone for iOS and Android, so if you want to control it that way and access that service from there, you can of course do that, and of course you can access it from the website. Now, the only limitations here are down to, well, firstly, if this, then that only really allow you to have a single action triggered from a particular event. So, for example, if I wanted to set up a uh, a single applet here that says if somebody rings the doorbell, turn on the kitchen lights and send me an email and generate a notification and do a whole bunch of other things, well that's not um, possible with if, if this then that, at least not at the moment anyway. Um, also there are certain limitations depending on the integration um, and the, the partner that's providing that integration. So Ring have of course um, uh, connected up with if they send that in order to allow their services to be used in uh, these applets. But you can see down here, for example, it says this applet usually runs within an hour. Now, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos where I kind of touched upon this, that's obviously not something that's um, uh, quite as helpful as you would want it to be. If somebody rings your doorbell, you want the lights to come on straight away, not within, you know, some point within a, an hour. You want that to be instantaneous. Now, that's not necessarily a fault of if this then that, it might be something to do with Ring. Um, if I go back to my applets uh, and choose one of these Alexa um, applets that I've got set up, um, this one here for example, you can see it's got a slightly different uh, thing that it's saying here. It's saying this applet usually runs within a few seconds. And indeed that's been my experience so far when we've played around with this and used a timer on Alexa. When the timer hits zero, 
the lights start flashing virtually instantaneously. So there are differences here be between some of the services that plug in. But if I have a search around and have a look at some of the other um, services that you can use with this, you can see um, that there are quite a lot. Um, you know, there's online social networks like Twitter, uh, music services like Spotify, you've got Gmail, uh, Evernote, Instagram, Google Drive, Alexa, there's loads. Um, if I search for Sonos, this is one partner that's not um, currently um, plugged directly into If This Then That, but there are other people who've managed to find ways of making this work. So these are applets that other people have created that you can sort of grab and use yourself. So here's one that says play Sonos when arriving home. So it may be that you want to walk in the front door and you want your lights to come on and, and everything to be set up and you want your favorite music to play. So somebody's obviously had a, a crack at doing that. Uh, if I click on this to have a look at more details, you can see though that you have to uh, use a little bit of programming um, know-how in order to make this work. But um, I think that there's a few other um, people who've tried to make this sort of thing happen um, and so far it's one of those things that um, just requires a little bit of extra integration and hopefully that sort of thing will, will come in future. Um, you can see here that people have done things like Alexa, turn on Sonos speaker. So if I click on that um, you can see that people have gotten started to um, make these kind of things work. Um, but it requires um, Amazon Alexa and smart things, uh, a Samsung smart things controller hub. So even though if this then that doesn't require um, a controller hub in your home in order for it to do its thing, it may be that you can extend some of the things that it can do uh, when you have these devices in your home, like a Samsung smart things controller hub or potentially some other controller hub that's out there. So there's a whole range of different ways that you can use if this then that to integrate together smart home technologies. If I search for Tardo, which is one of the um, smart heating thermostats that we're um, potentially considering installing in the home, you can see that they have integration with If This Then That. Nest is of course another um, provider of smart home technologies. You can see that they've got a lot of their stuff on here as well. And there's a variety of different things that you could set up using If This Then That. Um, here's one saying, receive a notification when your thermostat is set to away mode. Uh, receive an email notification if your Nest Protect's battery is low. So there's a whole range of different things that you could do. Um, tell Alexa to turn on your Nest fan for 15 minutes. So lots of different things that you can set up here. Now in some cases um, you can already integrate some of the smart home technologies that you might choose together more directly without having to use an intermediary service such as If This Then That or a smart hub such as Samsung Smart Things or others. Um, but if that, that level of integration isn't available natively in the services that you have and the smart home technologies that you've chosen, then using something like If This Then That is a way of bridging that gap and getting these things working together. Um, if This Then That is not the only um, kind of action reaction online um, platform that you can use, there are certainly others out there, but it's become the most popular. Um, simply because, you know, I'm not sure if they got there first, but it certainly has become one of the most popular services out there. Like I say, it's not perfect. It would be great to see multi-action triggers um, for the applets that you might want to um, set up. And, of course, with some of the integrations, as mentioned, it's not quite as reactive as I would hope. Um, but nevertheless, um, this is a great and very useful way to sort of start building in some of the more... Uh, some of the automation that you might want in your smart home. And of course, automation is a big aspect to smart home technology. Having your house do things uh, uh, automatically, you know, so that you walk in the door and, and everything starts happening for you, or you say a command to your voice assistant and, and a whole range of different things happen. So automation is a big, a big aspect of smart home technology, and it's one that I'm hoping to explore more and more uh, in the months ahead as we get more smart home technology. Certainly, this starts to come into its own a lot more when you have a more comprehensive smart home deployment. Uh, once you've got that, once you've got the, the lighting and the heating and you've got the entertainment systems and you've got um, uh, the security components all installed and you have a few different ways to kind of connect these up together, well, being able to build these levels of integration and this level of, of automation um, is very, very useful. So that's kind of a brief overview of the If This Then That service. Um, certainly something I want to carry on playing around with, especially as we get more 
um, smart home components uh, installed. What I'll probably do as well is expand on this a little bit by doing a few um, specific videos on how you can use If This Then That with smart lighting, um, with Alexa, with the Ring Video Doorbell, and then as we add additional components, how you can use it with that. But for now, I'm hoping that's been a good introduction. Uh, I have written up a companion blog post. You'll find the link to that in the description below. Um, you can also visit the website, newhometricks.com. If you've liked this video, please share. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.